Hi everybody and welcome to my new series on the confessions of a late bloomer. Okay, so today I want to talk a little bit about Colonel Sanders because I talked a little bit about how he was my idol and how he got me through some really tough t uh, times in my life. So I want to tell you a little bit about him. And so let's start out with the fact that he was born in 1890. Oh my gosh! And his father died five years later. So he was the oldest of three children. And that's when he actually had to learn to cook. When he started his honing his skills as a cook, taking care of the family. He really had a hard time holding down a job as he grew up. He just went all over the place. He dropped out of school in the sixth grade and he said, algebra drove me away. I totally relate to that. Can you? I can totally relate to that. Over the next 28 years, Sanders would take on an incredible amount of jobs. He was in the army, which he was sent to Cuba. He was a streetcar conductor. He was a railroad fireman, an insurance salesman, uh, in, see what else, a secretary, a tire salesman, a ferry operator, and a lawyer, even a midwife. That's right, people. Ew, he was a midwife. I don't know if I would have wanted him for my midwife. But he did all of those jobs. So uh, the reason I bring all this up, why he was my hero and still is my hero, is the man never gave up. And as he left his youth, he entered into middle age and it was not looking really good for him. So this, we are going to go over what happened to him after he got older and had gone through all of that already. So stay tuned for the next segment. It's coming right up after this one. And we're going to talk about what he went through in the next half of his life and how he became known as the Colonel. Okay, so it wasn't until he was 40 that he began selling his chicken out of a service station that he turned into a restaurant. And as, the, as he began to advertise for his chicken, he got himself into an argument with a competitor that resulted in absolutely a gunfight. That's right, it was a gunfight. Oh my God, I can't even imagine. Four years later, however, he bought a motel, which burned down with his restaurant. My God, can this guy catch a break? Yet this determined man rebuilt that motel and restaurant and until the World War II forced him to close it. And seriously, are you kidding me? The following year, he tried to franchise his restaurant and his famous chicken, but he was rejected. Check this out, I'm in the fetal position already 1,009 times. 1,009 times he was rejected. I can't believe that he had that kind of fortitude because I don't know if I could. But he finally hit it big when 65 years old, there you go, there's the number, 65 years old after years of failure and misfortunes, KFC expanded internationally. He sold that puppy for $2 million. Now, $2 million doesn't sound like a lot in today's money compared to, you know, Facebook and, and Bill Gates and all those people that have like tons of money, but it, that's now equal to $15.3 million. Yeah, that's a pretty good deal, especially back then. So I want to tell you that one of his quotes that I used to paste up on my wall that says, and I'm sure you've heard other versions of this from other people, but his, he said, one of the things you have to remember is every failure leads to something better. And that is why I love Colonel Sanders. And next week on the Confessions of a Late Bloomer, I'm going to talk about someone else that also started out at 65 years old. So I think I'm going to talk about Laura, the lady that wrote uh, house on the Prairie, Little House on the Prairie. She did not write her first book until 65, so stay tuned for that. You guys have a great weekend, a week, and we'll see you next time on the Confessions of a Late Bloomer. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.